What's going on guys, Moran here and welcome to the video. I am currently in London, I want to say Ireland, <laughs> <laughs> Dublin. Rob lives here now and I'm uh, visiting him and Ben is here also. So we're having a good time. Today I'm going to take you guys through our day, I'm going to take you with us. Uh, but I also want to share some tips that will help you finally get in shape because you might have been lifting for a while already or you may be completely new to it and then a lot of beginners uh, make these mistakes, made them myself in the past as well. So I don't want you guys to make them. And Rob most likely has some tips to share with you too. So we're gonna do that together. First tip, and it already starts in the morning with something very basic, very simple, to stay hydrated. Many people don't drink enough water, and this is very crucial, right? Not only for performance, um, it 100% is. Most of your body consists out of water, literally. It increases performance. Also, your brains need water, very important as well, to properly think and function. Uh, it's good for the kidneys. It's great for the skin as well, you know, drinking enough water. And there are many other benefits to drinking water. And as I said, it's just super simple to do. It's something you have to like keep in mind during the day. You have to constantly remind yourself of it. And that's something I didn't do back in the day. So then I would just, you know, in the morning, like always kind of like rush, not be on time. And then I would head to school and like not have the water with me. And then just kind of like forget, forget the drink. So uh, you can invest in a water bottle and then, you know, like invest as if it's a massive <laughs> investment. And then, uh, you know, you have a water bottle, you, you get a little remind yourself that you take it with you. In the morning, um, I directly drink like, you know, half a liter of water. And then during the day, at least two liters of water, uh, preferably a bit more, but that is like the bare minimum you definitely want to drink. If you're cutting body fat, another benefit of drinking enough water is that it helps you stay full, right? So then you, you want to go up a little bit higher, maybe three, even like four liters of water. That's what I personally do when I'm trying to lose weight. Breakfast time. Here we go. Late breakfast though. Did a little bit of a intermittent fast. Yep. Coconut oil. I suppose you should start off by cutting some of the eat. Do you want peppers in yours? Do you like peppers? Yeah, cool. So we're gonna need one more of these. Rob loves his egg whites. I think he eats one of those whole ones a day. Uh, we're, we're not gonna do that. We're gonna have one and a half, and then we're gonna split it. This is 15 egg whites each. You've seen Rob's channel, you know. He, he can eat a lot of them. So maybe uh, one day when he's done uh, cutting, we'll do a uh, calorie challenge again. It's been a while. 20K. Looks like a soup or something. Looks like a soup, so yeah. So much. So here we go, guys. Meal number one. Bunch of egg whites. Got some ketchup on there, and I'm gonna eat that together with a bunch of these corn eggs. Probably six or seven. And then some pineapple as well. It's gonna be good, man. Very, very high protein. So we are on our way to the gym right now, about to hit a workout, and uh, that brings us to mistake number two, and that is that you hate your gym routine. Rule number one in your diet and your training is sustainability and adherence, right? If you don't like your routine, you're not going to follow it and you're not going to stick to it long term. So be sure to customize it so that you actually enjoy it. You know, whether it's bodybuilding style, yeah. powerlifting style, could be CrossFit. I don't mind. Yeah. Figure out what works for you. Yeah. Kind of mind. <laughs> kind of mind. Just figure out what you enjoy doing and what you're going to sustain and stick to and be consistent with because consistency is everything. So, for example, if you don't like squatting, you know, you hate it. Variation. Yeah, a, vari squat. a squat variation or something. As long as you find something that's similar to it and it's going to do the job and you can stick to that. Oh, if you hate all it. exercises, that yeah. is something else. You yeah. Know? So again, you can take it too far. It's like if you yeah, have a yeah, gym yeah. in general, well, yeah. then that's not gonna work, okay? Yeah. You need to push yourself a little bit. And you gotta like give it some time, because once you start seeing progress, that is when you're gonna love it as well. So yeah. I that's remember when you fall in love with the process. Yeah, I remember I used to really not enjoy squatting, and I didn't like it, and it was because my form was whack, and exactly. I didn't have the mobility or the flexibility. Yeah. And once I actually just started squatting regularly, you know, practice makes perfect, I got better at it, and I really started to enjoy it and progress it, because we like what we're good at. Exactly. So so it. figure out a way to train for you that makes sense for you and that you can sustain. Yep. So gym we're training at today is the King's Gym in Mitcham, London. And this gym, guys, uh, absolutely fucking amazing. Uh, me being from the Netherlands, we don't have that many 
epic gyms. And so I love when traveling, I love to visit some epic gyms. And this one is on that epic list. I'm going to repeat epic, epic over and over again. Um, there's just a big vibe in there. Music was super loud. So I'm going to do a voiceover for this workout. But it was just a really incredible, you know, atmosphere, loud music. And they had all the freaking machines that we don't have at my gym or any gym back at home. Uh, not many of them, at least. You guys saw me do that first exercise, um, you know, like the leg press upwards. And that is really amazing. Never did that before. Like my gym back at home doesn't even have like a lying leg curl or this one legged leg curl machine. So, you know, I'm trying out all these different movements today. So I'm training legs and back together today. It's something I normally don't do, uh, but I kind of had to make up for, you know, the uh, push workout with Rob. I don't want to like interfere with his training because he's prepping for a show. So I'm just joining him. Um, but normally I would do an upper body workout and a lower body workout today. So instead I had to, you know, incorporate my back today because yesterday we did chest, shoulders and triceps. And tomorrow I want to take a day off because after that I want to train with Stan the Man again when I get back home. When you do two body parts together and legs is one of them, always start with the legs guys uh, because that is the toughest muscle group of them all. Now I, I'm not going to lie, this wasn't the toughest workout as far as exercise selection. That's because I, was, I knew I was going to do a bunch of exercises and I had some pain in my lower back this is something that kind of comes and goes I've, I've had treatment for it i go to the physical therapist uh, for that and it, like it feels a lot better but like just sometimes i think i did like a heavy hip thrust my last leg workout and i kind of feel it so then i'm just not overreaching i make sure to give my lower back some additional rest one of my main focuses at the moment to bring up is my hamstrings. My quads a bit less because they're already very well developed. So I'm putting some extra focus on that. Now for back, uh, starting off with pull-ups, just doing a body weight. I'm weighing a bit more now, so it's getting heavier. And I'm doing sets of 10 there with my body weight, but doing a bunch of sets. So then it still becomes very difficult when you get to that last set, right? The first one seems very simple. Um, then I'm doing this T-bar row with, with a chest supporter row, which is freaking incredible. And we don't have this at my gym either. As I said, I just really like that training different gyms. And then if I do try out some different movements and it feels incredible, man, the pump was absolutely unreal in this day. And then I finished it off with some regular standing dumbbell curls and some work on the calves. Obviously also one of my weak body parts. So work I was a while ago, it's four o'clock by now. And now we walk to Whole Foods and big meal. And that brings me to the next mistake a lot of people make, they you know try to, whether it's building muscle or losing fat, is eating too little carbs, right? Everybody's afraid of carbs, you know, no carbs are for bad, carbs make you fat, blah, 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 all these sayings, and carbs are not the issue, guys. The issue is usually too many calories when it comes to that, uh, when it comes to not losing weight, and just not doing things properly. Now, if you wanna take the shredded look, you wanna get aesthetic, it is very important that you not just focus on weight loss, you focus on fat loss. In order to get crazy good workouts, maintain your strength in the gym, you have to keep eating carbs, right? Even you now, you're doing a show. Yeah, for that. I'm doing a show, and the goal is always to keep your carbs as high as possible. As high as you possibly can. And don't just drop them for no reason. Like, if you're including carbs in your diet, you're in a deficit, you're cutting down, everything's going well, don't just cut out carbs for, for no reason, you know? Because that's again how you get that full look. Exactly, yeah, man. So you, you, you gotta like strength. taper them down slowly if yeah. you're gutting, and if you're bulking, you gotta like up them slowly yeah. to make sure you feel those workouts. So my meal here, you got the salmon teriyaki, bunch of rice there in the bottom, yeah. got all the carbs there, the greens too, yeah. and here I got a chicken breast somewhere in the bottom. Yeah, it's in there. <laughs> bunch of pasta. Yeah. We're getting it in, man. So yeah. that is a big mistake people make, and then they never obtain their goals because they're always like afraid of eating the carbs. Yeah. Don't be afraid of it. Mistake number four is not having a clear goal, not really having a purpose. Uh, because you, if you don't set a goal for yourself, and this goal can be many things, um, it can be, you know, getting healthier maybe losing weight, maybe this gaining weight, maybe you're super skinny right now. And then you have to, you know, like really set a goal for yourself and have a purpose when it comes to, you know, training, but also dieting and basically all the choices you make on a daily basis. You know, you don't have any goals set for yourself. You don't really have anything to work towards and you don't have anything to like measure against. And then you never feel like you're accomplishing anything, right? And then the fun really is not there. So in order to make it fun, you wanna like feel like you're achieving something, right? Like what do I want to accomplish, right? And for one person, as you said before, training can be in different ways. Uh, maybe you like something else 
than someone else. Like that doesn't really matter, but fi find what works for you and what you like. And then, you know, set goals within that. So here, for example, now me and Rob, uh, we have completely opposite goals at the moment. So he's trying to lose body fat and I'm, you know, gaining muscle, uh, focusing on that. And if we didn't set these goals for ourselves, we would never really make any proper progress. You know, like if I was to, you know, cut for a couple days and then, you know, eat more for a couple days and, you know, do it like that, not really have any structure, any goal on a daily basis that I, I remind myself of every day. And like I weigh myself every morning. If I didn't do that, I wouldn't properly make progress and work towards my goals. And then I would really quickly fall off. It wouldn't be fun. Also, if you guys want to find out how this guy gets when he cannot figure out a YouTube title, <laughs> you gotta you gotta follow me on Instagram, right? At Moran. <laughs> I didn't return into a chicken man, seriously. <laughs> Behind the scenes. This fucking guy. There's the premium content. I'm not like this on my channel. So we are on our way to STK London. And I don't know if this is a good idea or a bad idea. It's bad I can usually like... get out of hand when there's the two of us. Yeah, yeah, exactly. In, in, in the setting where there's music and people. Some yeah, good looking yeah. girls. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Well, you got a girlfriend. Yeah, yeah. Like, so I, was, <laughs> I was just like, people. I was like holding it in. Like. Yeah. Buckingham Palace right there. That's cool. Tourism <laughs> vibes, bro. Tourism vibes, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's made I love it, man. Hey, you guys are not from England or what? Nah, I'm yeah. from Ireland. He's from Amsterdam okay. and he's from Ireland as well. Amsterdam. Do you like Amsterdam? Yeah, man. Like, yeah, they're good, man. Don't smoke my weed, man. Hey, smoke my weed, man. Yeah, it's yeah. Just, yeah. Oh, he's mad for the weed, this one. Yes, he more. doesn't take it out of his mouth. <laughs> he's just constantly puffing on a joint. <laughs> Let's get this fucking bread. Let's get this fucking bread. <laughs> a famous bread. I'm serious. It, it's unbelievable. Alright, so today has been a day of estimated. Alright, Rob. This is what we were saying about the Preps carbs. Preps over, man. But no, overall, yeah, carbs. My first hit of carbs, like proper details. So. Yeah. Mmm. For real. It's crazy. So we got the appetizer here. Two little burgers. That looks so good, though. Juicy AF. Hey. You know, they remind me of like Krabby Patties. Yeah, 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 yeah. This is, oh man. This <laughs> so, got a Wagyu steak here, 250 grams, and some chimichurri sauce. That's gonna be amazing. Parmesan cheese fries, right? Wow. I'm sorry, Rob. I'm sorry. <laughs> that's that's and not cool, man. This looks great, too, man. Yeah. Even the veggies look amazing. Yeah, even the veggies look good. Rob is stocking up on veggies. Yeah. This is volume eating. Absolutely unreal. First of all, I'm proud of us for not getting sucked in. Yeah. But uh, yeah, no, it was great. It was perfect. High protein, tons of veggies, but like very flavorsome as well. So yeah. you're, you're doing 12 weeks off alcohol. 12 right? weeks, no going out, That's sober great. life. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm also, looking forward I'm, to it. I'm living a sober life myself at the moment. Yeah, so. you're doing like eight weeks. Until uh, until April. Sometimes you gotta take some time off partying to just uh, focus on your goals and, and that's it. Like, it's not like we're like recovering alcoholics. <laughs> it's like, you we're, just, yeah. yeah. Well, maybe we maybe, are. Maybe I'm maybe, exaggerating. Maybe we are. Like, you're taking 12 weeks off. I'm doing eight. <laughs> it's like, we need this. We need it. <laughs> Periodize your going out. Yeah. Like, like the gym. Periodize the highs and lows. Yeah. <laughs> the Fanta Zeros. Uh, we got, oh man, they've got the deluxe ones. That one has 700, 700 calories though. Eat ben Jerry's, man. That's too much, man. Yeah. I'll go give this a try. <laughs> Sick fuck. Uh, yeah, it was that, uh, yeah. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, <my laughs> This is not a in, in LA. We, we can't put in a cool clip of us eating ice cream. Yeah. In LA, that was fun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Throw it in there. I couldn't think of a better goodbye. That is boring perfect. Mmm! <laughs> Sensation. We have every type of sense to hit the human body ever. <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, so right now I wanted to get to mistake number five that people make, which is, you know, not properly estimating their calories. So oh, yeah. that is a big mistake people make. Yeah, yeah. Because uh, either, you know, or they may not track at all and then 
just like be overeating while they think they're eating healthy. Yeah, yeah. You know, people that get into lifting. Yeah, that, that's uh, probably like eating like only healthy food, but then yeah. way with like too much of it in terms of calories and then like, or maybe like a salad with a lot of nuts in there. Oh yeah, yeah <laughs> those are dressing. the worst mistakes or like yeah. dressing. That's probably and the then, biggest mistake I've seen is just people eat, they're like, they think they're eating the right foods, but they're just eating too much. Like sweet potatoes, nut butters. Yeah. Like acai, oh, yeah. an acai bowl. Yeah, so They're like great. a thousand calories, yeah. you know. Honey, organic, maple yeah, yeah, syrup. Yeah, yeah. Seriously, yeah. like like people just like to fool themselves yeah. and be like, oh, I'm eating healthy. This is delicious. I'm feeding yeah. my body with the nutrients. Too much calories, not gonna lose fat. Yeah. Simple as. And then there is the other side where people actually track their food intake, yeah. but then they 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 always like under track it. Like, yeah, yeah. Like you tonight, we went eating out and Rob did all that while he's prepping. Yeah. Which is awesome. Shout out to this guy. He does it the right way. Yeah. Rule of thumb is when you're cutting, overestimate because you know that's obviously always the, the problem. If yeah. You cut, you you're eating too much, you're bulking, you're not eating enough. So today I overestimated loads. I was still underneath. My yeah. calories, but yeah, you just want to do that to be safe. Like this is also the last night here. Yeah, in the, in the UK. So. Been good, man. It was a random trip, like like five days. Yeah, ago. a couple days ago. I was like, yeah. Yeah, I should come yeah. over. Let's Mo do it. Back. Yeah, more it trips fun. though. More, more trips, trips coming. Yeah. Hell yeah! Thank you guys for watching. Make sure to give a video a thumbs up. Peace. Peace. Talk to these guys, and I'll see you soon. All right, here. Peace out. Peace. Bye bye. This complication spin my mind, but I know I gotta keep pushing through. Yeah, I keep doing my own thing. Never looking back again I can get it, I can make it, yeah, I know it And I'm never looking back again Yeah, never looking back again I can get it, I can make it